Perseverance mission has to do the equivalent of about what Curiosity did, or four times what Curiosity did in the same amount of time. And so we've had to do a lot of things to make it smarter. And so go ahead and uh, bring up my next slide. You can see that this is um, one of the things that we've done to make it smarter and have better sensing is we've added some cameras. You can see we have 23 cameras on the rover. Um, and some of the new cameras we've added, we have new double E cams that are our navigation cameras that we use for autonomous driving. They're now color, they're twice, twice the field of view, twice the resolution as the Curiosity cameras. We also have added better cameras to the front of the rover, the hazard um, cameras, which we use to actually place the arm very accurately. We even have a camera inside the rover that takes images of the samples before we seal them off. So we have lots of great sensors. And another thing that we do to make the rover smarter is we add a lot of software and computers. So if you can go on to my next graphic, I can show you a little bit about what makes the rover smart. Um, the rover has about 13 different computing and processors. It has uh, dozens of electronics boxes. I can't show you the software and the algorithms that make it smart, but this is the inside of the rover. The, the back of the rover is to the right, the front of the rover is to the left, and you can't even see the full sample caching system, which is another extraordinarily complex part of the rover. If you were to take all the cables inside the rover, it would, um, it would be about three and a half miles long. So it's a very complicated vehicle. But we've made it smarter. Uh, the things that we've done to make it smarter, some of the new algorithms, I talked about terrain relative navigation. We've also added a new auto navigation algorithm so that we can actually drive autonomously through more difficult terrains that have more rocks. We've added a capability for higher compression so that we can get more data down to the ground. We've added a capability so that after the rover drives, it can stop, check for hazards, and if there are no hazards, it can actually deploy the arm out and take some images and send those back to Earth so that we don't have to wait for the next day and it speeds things up. We've also made some significant upgrades to our operations system. We have cloud-based tools that allow the science team to do collaboration around targeting and visualization, and we're much more efficient at simulating and validating those sequences because we have to send those to the rover every single day. And now, if you'll go ahead to my, my next slide, which is my final image. I love this image because it shows the rover folded up, ready to go, on its way to Mars. But it also shows the preeminent new capability that we've built on this rover, which is the sampling system. If you look at the front of the rover, you see the cage-like feature, that's the core. That cores the samples from the surface of Mars. You'll also see the robotic arm. You can see the forearm and the upper arm that have the Mars 2020 and the Perseverance plates on them. You'll also be able to see the, the um, bit carousel, which is sort of in the center, the round thing. A couple other things to say about this image, the wheels are covered with anti-static wrap and we do take that off before launch, so no worries there. And then you can see the rover's upside down in this picture. So you see the mast is actually stowed underneath the rover. You can see the American flag there at the bottom of the mast. Now something that just kind of brings it home as far as how amazing this rover is, is the turret that's on the end of the robotic arm that includes the core and also includes some other instruments, it weighs 80 pounds. And I think if you had told me back in 1997 when I was working on the Sojourner rover that in 20 years we'd be building a rover that had a robotic arm that could hold the weight of three Sojourner rovers in its hand, I might have been surprised. But here it is. It's the Perseverance rover. It's an amazing vehicle. 